Hello, my lovely Pisces. This is your 2019 projection. I'm going to lay two cards for each month with the significator for the year or an influencer in the middle of the spread, okay? This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. Of course, this reading will not resonate for everyone. Um, I wish it could, but I would advise you to check your Moon and Rising signs as well. It may, um, you know, put together a bigger picture for you or a better picture for you even. All right. So, Pisces, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> My Pisces friends. Let's see what's going on. All right. So, this is January, February, March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, oh, and December, guys. All right, so let's go and pull you some a second card here hmm, something flipped over there look at that tower mm, okay we'll take that huh okay oh the king of pentacles My intention was to lay the cards face down, the second ones, but, you know, those flipped over, so I'm going to leave those like that. <clears throat> Let's see what we got going on for my Pisces. And let me get one card as a significator for the middle to see, you know, what is, what is influencing <clears throat> this year ahead for you. Let's see. Pisces. Pisces. Alright, guys. The hanging man. Feeling stuck. Self sacrificing trying to figure out which way to go next I feel like for a lot of you um, because we're coming into January in a very defensive stance um, and I know it's because a lot of you have gone through a traumatic experience um, and that's whether it's in a job um, a relationship an intimate relationship or any other situation that you felt, you know, brought you to your knees and has you, you know, feeling like you have to defend your position from now on, you know, kind of removing yourself from things that you feel like, you know, get you to this five of swords mode where, you know, you just want to basically knock somebody out, I feel like, because it's like, let me remove myself because I can't do this that type of energy okay and it may be due to this king of pentacles here um in february because i see that <clears throat> somebody is walking away because they have analyzed the situation and they feel like this is not good for me okay these are swords, so there's not an emotional decision here. This is a very thought out decision, okay? Now, either this King of Pentacles is the one that's doing this, or, you know, this is you. This is you just trying to, um, you know, assert yourself, stand your ground, and just you know, just, just be the best you that you can be here. Okay. 
we'll see what's going on um, further in the year. When we come into March, it's, it's, it's like you're missing things. There's, there's, something, there's something that's going on um, going into March where there's something that you are either actively trying not to notice or that you're so hurt that you are blocking things out here again with this hanging man um you know not allowing opportunities to come your way and it's not like you're doing it on purpose i feel again like this is a defense mechanism because you were brought to your knees here okay you were brought to your knees here so you're not like you know, so eager to allow certain things in. Yeah, because you're broken hearted. There's something that, that has truly hurt you. So it's like you're not willing to allow, you know, just anybody or anything to come in and infiltrate your space. You're just not with it at this point in March. You're not with it because, you know, you've just gone through something over here in January. And it's like, you know, your, your mental, your heart is not settled yet. So you're still healing here. Okay? Now, towards April, you know, you're moving forward. You're going towards things that, you know, are more positive. You can see the light is what I'm getting. You can see the light. You, you're seeing your way out of this stuck position. There's something that you're going for that you feel excited about. You're in a hurry to, to get out of this, this space right here. And I don't blame you because this is heavy stuff up here. That's heavy. Yeah. You're trying to hurry up and get out of this, what's been weighing you down so here with this Ten of um, Wands. You're dropping that burden. It's like, you know what? Whatever happened, if that person cheated on me, if that person lied to me, you know what? I, there's nothing I can do about that. All I can do is go forward here. Go forward. Because in May, we see that you are doing this, that. There, there's a spark in you. There's a spark in you. You may have also, or you may also, um, encounter somebody that sparks your interest, okay? Or this could be a new business venture that you are um, getting excited about. You may be going on vacation here, okay? But it's something new that has sparked your interest in May that you're excited about here. Ha, look at that, the lovers. Hmm. Now what I'm getting with this is that it's, it's three different ways that this can go, okay? Either you are deciding to move out of this energy where you're feeling really broken hearted, not allowing anything in, and you are either trying to rekindle something with somebody from the past or you you have chosen yourself over being with this person from the past or there is somebody new that you are very attracted to because the lovers are very very sexual energy okay Three different scenarios here. Only you guys know your stories, all right? And keep in mind, too, that this is May of next year, all right? So there's something new happening here for you that you are truly excited about, all right? Now, in June, we see this Page of Swords. This is, this is a new energy. This is a child, childlike energy, um, not very mature. So it makes me feel like this is somebody 
either new or somebody who you have not been with um, in, a, in a while for this energy to come in as, as a page, okay? Um, but either they have been looking at you, checking you out, but look, they go from being a page to a knight of pentacles. This very slow moving knight that, you know, really takes stock in who they are. Very dependable knight, okay? They don't just rush into things. They don't just jump into things. I see them moving towards you. But first and foremost, they have to see if it's okay. They have to see if you're not with anybody. They have to see how you behave on social media. Do you post these pictures, very provocative pictures? Are you posting yourself with a girlfriend or a boyfriend? They have to check these things out first to see what kind of person you are to move towards you. Okay? March, April, May, June. All right? So in July, we have some somebody here feeling left out in the cold. Feeling rejected. Okay, um, this could be you, or it could be another individual, all right? So let's see what's coupling with that, um, the emperor. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I'm getting that um, somebody feels left out in the cold by you. Because I feel like you are the emperor. Um, I feel like there's two individuals here. There's two individuals here. Hmm. This makes me feel like this is somebody new. Somebody new. Somebody that, um, you know, that you have not been with in a long time if this is somebody from your past because I don't really get that um, this is a recent ex or anything it could be an ex but if it is it is somebody from way long ago not the person that you just um, were hurt by I don't feel hmm I think this is more of a Taurus energy here that probably was very stubborn with you. They probably didn't offer a lot of, a lot of emotions because the only water we see here is you feeling like I'm not going to let anybody else break my heart or do me the way that, you know, this other person did me. Taurus energy, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, <clears throat> I feel, okay, because we move into August here, and we have this air sign, we have this air sign energy here being very defensive, but I get, I get that this is, this is possibly you. This is possibly you. Because you're probably like right there, you know, on the cusp with <clears throat> Pisces and Aquarius. But, you know, however this person is feeling, you're standing your ground. It's like, you know, I hurt you. You hurt me, you know. And because I won't do what you, you know, want me to do because you feel like now you get it. No. Now I get it, and I'm not going there again. I feel like that's going to be your stance here because here you are with your back turned, you know, standing your ground. Mm -mm. You're standing your ground. You know, you're using more of that air energy yourself and not thinking with your heart so much because you're almost feeling like, what did I get me before? Stuck, feeling depleted, blaming myself. You know, what could I have done better? You know, so yeah. And you're realizing the truth. 
of your situation, of your relationships, you know, where things have gone wrong, um, what people to allow in your life, and, you know, the ones that you need to, like, keep at an arm's distance, okay? Yeah, I mean, it's like you're hip now. Now, here we have, look at this, the Knave of Swords. This card is in reverse, so I'm going to leave it like that. There, this energy right here. Hmm. I feel like because the the page of swords and it's a repeat card. There is somebody that I feel like is not is not talking, is not doing anything. It's like they've shut down. They've shut down. I feel like if you and you know this person, you know this person, and I feel like this is a person that did hurt you. I feel like this is a person that did hurt you. Hmm. Because they they are doing some really shady behavior here. I feel. Very shady. Very shady. They could be riding by your house. They could be calling your phone anonymously. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're going to you're gonna know this. You're going to know this. And um, you're going to feel like, you know, you're, you're happy that you did not engage in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like this is the same individual. This is the same individual. That I feel like wanted to start something with you. Um, kind of observing things to see, you know, if you're with somebody else. <clears throat> wanting to come towards you but moving very slowly because they're not really sure how you're going to react and I feel like they're seeing you move on with somebody else here and this is the reason why they're feeling left out in the cold they're stuck they waited too long, too little, too late. So now you have your back turned to them. You're not hearing whatever it is they have to say. Because again, you should have said that when you had me. Um, you should have done those things when you had me. So now it's like, uh-uh, no, not going there anymore. Not doing it. So now this person um, is you know who this person is it's like you know i'm so glad i didn't go back there because this person is really going through some crap here after what they've done to you and this is how i feel strongly this is how i feel strongly um i didn't got my months mixed up guys hang on a second hang on okay so this was september now going in october yeah you know, you, you got your three of swords there. You got your three of swords here. And it's like, you know, you don't need anybody else to support you, to help you, you know, move forward. Not saying that you don't need anybody. That's not what I'm saying. But you don't you don't need somebody to, you know, pet you on the back and say, you can do this, I love you, this, that, and the other, because you love yourself enough to leave behind things that are no longer you know, serving your higher good and moving towards something that is. Queen of Wands. Mm-hmm. Now we have this fire sign energy here. Now, hmm. Hmm. I think you're feeling very confident and sexy at this point. You're feeling very confident and sexy at this point. Or either for some of you guys, you're moving towards a fire sign here. 
somebody that you find very attractive. For you women, this is how you're feeling. Because we see the Ace of Swords there. This is, this is being able to use your discernment to know what, um, what is for you and what's not. To have the confidence to do things in life that, that you know you need to do and want to do. This is have, being very confident, being very alluring here. Okay? In November, we have the Three of Swords again. But I don't think this is you. I don't think this is you. I think if this is you, this is you coming out of feeling this energy. But I feel like this is somebody else that you left behind here. That you left behind here. To work on yourself. You're coming out of being broken hearted and somebody else is just feeling the magnitude of losing you because here you are just working on yourself. You're working on yourself. You're following your heart here in December, doing what's right for you. Yeah, this is two of wands. You know the path that you need to take. You know that there are certain people that you have to leave behind here and this is what you're doing. This is what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You're no longer stuck. This is you right here. You see that? It looks like the wands. It's like you're upside down and you're trying to figure out which way to go. But you know which way to go. And that's to build on yourself, take care of yourself first and foremost, not allowing anybody to um, take advantage of the energy that, that you have, okay? So Pisces, that is what I have for you for your yearly projection, and I will be speaking with you guys soon. I hope you enjoy.